Hey everyone, welcome back for book talk number 13. Today I chose a book that I've really wanted to read for a while, and I know it was in our school book room, so I found an electronic copy, perfect, on our school library website, and I was able to read it. It's called The Book Thief by Marcus Zusak. And I really enjoyed this book from the start because it's not first person point of view like a lot of books. So it's not told from the main character, Liesel's point of view. It's told from the point of view of death. So the death meets this 10-year-old girl first when they're riding on a train, and he takes the soul of her little brother. So they're actually on the way to go see their new foster parents, and her brother dies. So as they're burying her brother, she notices the grave digger drop a book on the ground, and she snatches it, and she takes it with her. And then you go and you meet her new foster parents and her foster father, Hans, is a really warm-hearted guy that you like right off the start. And Liesel actually feels that connection too. And he makes her feel really comfortable. But one night as she's having a nightmare from her brother's death, Hans comes in and he notices that she's hidden this book under her mattress, but she doesn't know how to read it. So he is the one that actually teaches her how to read and she gains this love and passion for books and almost she can't even resist them and that's why it's called the book thief because she has this urge that she needs more books when she sees them so she just takes them and she actually starts learning about life in the holocaust when this family takes in a jewish i would say boy um he's older than her though and he's um, in danger. So the family takes him in, he hides in the basement, and that actually causes a lot of stress and anxiety for the family, but she learns a lot about um, the injustice going on through Max's perspective, and she very quickly becomes friends with him. Um, so you have to read to learn about Lee Soul's experience and death telling her story because he finds her book. Um, it's kind of a flash forward at the end of the book. He finds it laying on the ground next to her after something horrific happens. And he takes it. And he's captured by her story. And he said he's read it so many times. Enough where he now knows her story. can tell it very well. And that's why he tells the story from his perspective. And that's where the story begins. It's a really cool connection. Um, so go ahead and comment if you would enjoy reading this. And why or why not. See ya.